Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about seven steps to multiply your energy. I talked in another video about three steps that you need to succeed in things in life. The first step was to get, to have energy, to have motivation, to have something that you can invest into your project. The second thing is tactics, and the third thing is actually taking action. So right now we are going to focus on the first branch or the first aspect of this strategy, which is having energy to invest into something. You notice that when you wake up in the morning, if you don't have energy and you can hardly get up, you won't get much, many things done in life, right? So... This is the first thing to understand. When it comes to, uh, you know, to actually manifesting things, the, uh, the idea of having a reserve of energy is very, very important. And I'm going to give you some, you know, seven essential tips to actually manifest more energy. So the first one has to do with nutrition. You noticed, of course, when you go and have a heavy meal, after that, you are not really productive. You know, if you had a heavy lunch and you try to be really creative in the afternoon, very often you will feel really slow. So the first tactic is to eat high vibration foods. It's very simple. If you have been eating low vibration foods, it means foods that are really processed and packaged and so on, it's going to feel really heavy in your stomach and this loads, slows down your whole system. So that's the first tactic. The second tactic is to free your emotions. Again, imagine yourself that you are again about to, to invest yourself in a project and uh, you have lots of things that are bothering you from something that happened the day before. And so while you are being bo bothered, while you are being worried, uh, you, uh, a big part of your energy is going into these worries, into feeding aspects of your mind which are uh, not really productive. So all this background noise is consuming part of your energy. So you need to build up emotional freedom or free your emotions. And you have, other th you know, you have lots of tactics on uh, ideas on how to do that. And uh, you know, lots of them have to do with uh, activating energy so that there is a new stream of, um, of flow happening inside of you which is going to, to free uh, the flow of emotion side of you. So I'll talk more about that in another video. Uh, the, the third one is train your energy body. This is the same idea. Your energy body is really what sustains your, your, your physical body and your mind on the etheric level or on the biofield. And this is your electromagnetic field. So when this body is really activated, you have a high reserve of energy. A fourth tactic is to create fresh space. Uh, if you live in a house which is really cluttered with lots of stuff around, with unsorted past memories, it's again building up the idea of uh, having lots of emotions stacked in there. So creating space, getting rid of old um, memories and simply creating uh, a fresh environment for the energy to stream really well. That's another tactic. Another tactic is positivize your thoughts. You know, your mind needs to be your best ally. So if you have self-limiting beliefs, you are, of course, going to be um, yeah, limited in your, in your actions. Another tactic is focus on exciting projects. Uh, of course, you know, if you want to uh, put your energy to something, it needs to, there needs to be some passion, there needs to be some, some energy behind it. So focus on projects which are actually exciting. And uh, tactic number seven is be with activated people. Be, be with people who are interesting to be around, with people who are high vibration and high energy. This means creating a surrounding and a, a support network which is really conductive for you manifesting what you want. Okay, that's it. These are the seven steps to multiply your energy. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.